or to Choose for Health today, 1-800-210-1922. The first 300 callers will receive a free copy of my best-selling CD, America's Unbalanced Diet. Isn't it time you stop flushing your vitamins down the toilet? 1-800-210-1922 or go to orderchoose.com. Hey folks, Alex Jones here. I'm sending out a special alert to all those out there listening with credit card debt and struggling to make payments. I'm going to give you a very important phone number. Due to a declining economy and credit crisis, you now have the power to settle your debt and lower your payments by up to 60% or more by calling the bailout group. This program has already settled over $100 million of debt and are saving individual consumers thousands of dollars. Folks, if you are struggling with credit card debt and those excessive interest payments, the time is now to take advantage of this opportunity. Call the bailout group today at 1-800-324-324. 6554. I hope our listeners take advantage of this. The call is free, and in 10 minutes, they will show you how much you can save right over the phone with one simple call. Let the bailout group bail you out of debt, reduce your payments by up to 60%, and save you thousands of dollars today. That number again is 1 800 324 6554. 800 324 6554. The bailout group. Less than a century ago, half of the American public grew much of their own food. Today, it's been estimated that only 1% of Americans still grow their own food. During the Great Depression, over 18 million people suffered from starvation. And as America continues down its current path, for many, the reality of another depression is a very serious concern. With massive layoffs and unemployment at record levels, growing your own food will help you save money that you'd normally spend at the grocery store. Invest in your family's future by stocking up with your very own supply of seeds available from GetSeeds.net. Each order includes over 14,000 non-GMO chemical-free seeds that will provide you with food for years. Call 877-394-6657 to get 100 varieties of our heirloom seeds for just $49. Once again, that's GetSeeds.net or call 877-394-6657 to establish your own food supply today. Dr. Baldwin, I forgot to give you the email. It's Rob D, as in do, Rob D at InfoWars.com. I would love for you to send us that email right when you get off the air in about 10, 15 minutes, and we'll do a story on it. Very, very exciting to see you guys standing up and fighting back. But I go back to the question. We ran out of time. Talking to Ron Paul, talking to Bob Barr, are they saying that they may do legal action if this is not uh, reversed and, 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 and retracted? I think I think I could safely say that the sense uh, of of each of us is that this is serious enough that if the state of Missouri does not respond appropriately, uh, that we should consider legal action. I, I think that is certainly a consideration right now. So that was discussed. Yes, that is that is very important news right there. Good because instead of putting up with the Southern Poverty Law Center and the ADL who go after, you know, groups that are obviously bad and are constantly mixing good people in with it. I'm sick of this slander, and they've lost lawsuits before uh, over this, and uh, now the police are putting this out secretly. This is outrageous. It is outrageous, and it threatens the liberty of, of every American. I hope that your listeners understand that even though they may not have voted for myself or Bob or, or Ron Paul, or perhaps they don't live in Missouri, that they think, well, that this doesn't affect them. But the fact of the matter is, this affects every single American citizen. Uh, if, when police agencies can begin to profile Americans on the basis of what they believe, we are in serious trouble. We don't have freedom if we don't have the freedom to think, the freedom to speak, the freedom to express our ideas and our convictions publicly. When we don't have that freedom, without being considered an enemy of the state or a domestic terrorist, however you want to say it, we don't have the most basic fundamental freedoms 
uh, in this country. And that's what's at stake for every American. Yeah, this is a chilling effect. I mean, this is the Soviet Union, Nazi Germany. This is classical tyranny to have the police turning into secret police with these reports demonizing the very people that are defending the republic. Yeah, and, and think about it. You know, the, the people that, that they mentioned there, you know, Bob Barr, the Libertarians, uh, Chuck Baldwin, the Constitution Party, uh, Ron Paul, the, you know, if you want to say the Constitutional Wing of the Republican Party, you know, these are the people that for the most part are the most adamant defenders of, of the Constitution, of freedom, the, of the very principles that the law enforcement personnel around the country are sworn to protect. Let's remember that every law enforcement officer in the country takes an oath to the Constitution, as does every military officer and, of course, every public official. So, you know, and we are the ones who are promoting uh, the, the law that each of these law enforcement personnel have sworn to protect. I mean, if there's any group of people that they should appreciate, it should be the people that are trying to support and defend the Constitution that the law enforcement personnel have sworn an oath to. And absolutely. And and they might as well list Lou Dobbs in here because it, it, the whole document looks like a Lou Dobbs CNN TV show. I mean, the North American <laughs> Union, the SPP, RFID, tracker chips, the Second Amendment. I mean, they just demonize everything that this country stands for. This, this that, Absolutely. This, yeah, that's a good point. They'll this they document is treason. <laughs> they should they should have mentioned Lou Dobbs because how often does he talk about the, many of the things that, that you just listed there? Chuck Baldwin, I want to talk a little bit more about this for five more minutes if you can do it, and then. Uh, I got, Alex, I got to go. I got another interview at twelve o'clock straight up. I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, well, you right now during the break, uh, send me that uh, letter so I can post it. I'll do that as soon as I get off my next interview, Alex. Okay, let me say bye to you during this break. Then, Chuck Ball, we'll have to have you back up next week for a full hour. Uh, well, I want to fire out your website. I'll do that after the break. Hold on. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. What can you do to keep you and your family safe from the resistant new strains of deadly bacteria and viruses? Check out SupernaturalSilver.com today. Or visit the link on InfoWars.com to find out more about this incredible new silver compound. The new silver solution is a natural antibiotic that is clinically tested to kill viruses, germs, bacteria, and yeast safely. This new technology has proven itself to be a formidable weapon against bio threats of today and tomorrow. The new silver solution gel has been shown to disinfect topically and keep the area sanitized for up to four hours. The new silver solution is a highly effective potent nanoparticle solution that is lethal to bacteria, yeast, and viruses. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and see the amazing line of products they have available. Check out the patented new silver solution today. Click on the link and check out the uses for new silver solution. Order this extra line of defense today by going to SupernaturalSilver.com. That's SupernaturalSilver.com today. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you can just Google Chuck Ball and find all his sites. We're going to back up in the future. He had to go because of another radio interview. But look at how we broke... This major news story, because state police officers sent it to us, actually two of them did, one in California, one in Missouri. So one in Missouri that doesn't want to come on air, the uh, state police officer uh, in California is saying he will come on, he's going to be on. We may even get him on later in the hour, because he said a few days ago he would come on any time. And I guess we just hadn't set him up yet for some reason that escapes me, because I want him on immediately, immediately. I had a state rep on yesterday talk to the head of the state police in Missouri, uh, Jim Guest, representative of Missouri, and he, they admitted it was real. It's really going on, demonizing all these people. And uh, I want Paul Watson, Kurt Nemo, whoever, to go ahead and uh, Chuck says in 30 minutes he's going to send me that email. He's got to um, finish the interview first and send it. Uh, we're going to get that up on InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Uh, but I would just go ahead and have Paul Watson do a couple paragraph blurb about you heard them say that he talked to Ron Paul. 
They are considering litigation and Bob Barr. Bob Barr, Ron Paul, Chuck Baldwin, considering litigation if this isn't retracted, and they've sent a letter. The letter has been sent. Go ahead and get that article up, and then we'll post the letter uh, in it. I don't want to wait here. So launch the operation immediately. Folks, you don't realize how much power the American people have. You don't realize the platform we have with InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. A lot of people don't understand the effect we're having. That's what